Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Echo rework that will be coming in pre-season 7. So I've done a video on Shaco and Kha'Zix already. If you guys want to check those ones out and you haven't yet, then I'll leave an annotation on screen. But basically, we're just going to go over all of his abilities, how they have changed, and how they work now because there are some there is this pretty cool interaction now between his ultimate and his W. So first up, if we take a look at his passive here, his passive did get a little bit of a change, so it will no longer apply the slow on the third hit. Now that is obviously a little bit of a nerf, however it still does give you the movement speed, so I'm going to apply it here on the fiddlesticks and I'll show you that it no longer does slow. So I still do get that movement speed, but as you can see, the fiddle was not slowed. So this is a nerf, but honestly, I think this was needed because that sticking power that Echo had once he got that third hit was just insane you were pretty much not going to escape him especially if he was tank echo and he had like an iceborne gauntlet so these changes are definitely needed in my opinion he is also getting a little bit of a base damage and just a damage change to his passive as well so i will put that up on screen so you guys can take a look at that the next change is going to be a little buff to his Q. It's definitely a pretty good one. They are increasing the AP ratio on it up to 0.3. It was 0.2 before, and it's 0.2 on live servers. So I think that with them giving his uh, passive a little bit of a nerf, they're kind of buffing the damage on his Q here. So overall, I would definitely take that uh, trade-off, getting some more damage on your Q for removing the slow on your passive. And you actually do notice like that his Q does do quite a bit more damage. So overall, a really nice buff here to Echo's Q. If we take a look at his ultimate now, his ultimate did get a change and it did get a buff here. So his ultimate, it's now going to heal you for more. And it's also now going to heal you for... Uh, it's going to heal you based on the amount of damage that you've taken. So I assume that the lower HP you are, which I'm going to demonstrate here for you guys in a second, the more that it's going to heal for. So I'm going to use it when I get really low and then I do heal for a decent amount. I don't feel like that was like a lot better than what you would heal for on live servers, but it did get a buff. I'll put up on screen um, what it says and how it has changed. So I think that overall, like Echo is getting some pretty nice buffs here with these changes and they're trying more to like get you to play ap echo obviously they're kind of by increasing like the ratios on his q and his ultimate they're trying to get you to play ap echo now and they don't really want us to be playing the tank echo so overall i do think that these changes are pretty good here the next change to Echo's ultimate is actually kind of a change to his W as well. It's going to be a new interaction between Echo's ultimate and his W, which is pretty cool here. I think that this is going to make for a lot of outplay potential, and this is really going to differentiate like the average Echo from the really good Echo player. So what it says is using Chrono Break, which is Echo's ultimate, to go through Echo's W will trigger the shield and stun. So I'll show you guys this in the background gameplay here of what this means but it does look pretty cool to me i don't know how often you're going to be able to use this and whether or not you're going to be trying to use this like every fight or like every game but it does definitely provide for like more outplay potential and some pretty cool plays that echo can make now and one more thing to note here, guys, is that he is getting a little bit of a base mana regen increase. So it is going up from 1.2 up to 1.4 now. So that is going to be all for this video. Overall, I'd say that Echo did get more buffs here than nerfs. His Q did get an AP ratio increase. His ultimate is now going to heal him for more. The passive did get a bit of a nerf, but I would definitely take that trade off of getting more AP on your Q as well as a better heal on your ultimate. So let me know what you guys think of these changes down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.